with science. Our first myth involves suspending water with a container, and our second myth involves tapping on a soda can and seeing if it'll stop it from exploding after shaking it. We will discuss surface tension and states of matter in our first experiment, and in the second one we'll discuss nucleation sites. Before we test our experiment, we'll show you the video that we found on YouTube. Awesome. As you saw in the video, the water is supposed to be suspending, spinning as we remove the cup. Personally, I think it's a bunch of baloney. As you can see in the video, there's a flaw because the guy is not touching the water when it suddenly just falls and spills everywhere. He is about an inch away from the water, so it's impossible. The only way we can prove this video is by testing it. So these are the materials. Cups, gloves just in case water gets on your hand and you won't like break the glass by dropping it. Paper towel for cleaning the water and water. Now let's test this. Put a glove on first, see if you want, you don't really have to. But safety comes first. Now, grab the cup, pour water onto it, try and fill it up all the way, and you would need something to go on top of it to cover it so we can flip it. I would use a plastic bag. Cover it, see nothing spills. Push the cup down and slowly remove the bag. Try not to spill any water. It's okay if you spill some, but it's fine. Okay, now twist the cup and pull away. Let's try this again. spread everywhere and because we spin it the water is going to push away and it's going to even spill even faster and even further away from the general area where it was. Surface tension is what allows the liquid to resist an external force but 
though surface tension for water isn't strong enough to resist gravity, that's why it didn't work.